Okay, everyone, so today we're going to do something totally different. I'm going to do a get ready with me video, but it's going to be t way different than the last one I did. The last one I did, I didn't even really talk. I didn't talk through it. I just, because I wanted to be really, really fast. I don't want to, like, take all, I, how can I put it? Like, when you don't do the talk, when you don't talk through your get ready with me, with me videos, you can, like, speed up the process. And that's fine and dandy. But I find the ones that I like to watch are the ones when they talk through it, because I feel like you're getting to know them better. It's more personal. Yeah, it's like more personal than professional, I guess. Because I guess the professional way to do it would be if you were to just like not talk and like skip through and then like put the pictures up there so you, you know the names of the products you're using. But I want to do a talk through just because I don't really get a chance to do that with, I don't get a chance to do that with you guys. And when I do do videos, it's just like a haul or a, what is it called? Um, like pretty much like hauls and like favorites videos stuff like that outfit of the days like I don't get to talk to you guys I keep it strictly on those topics so I don't like that so I'm gonna talk to you guys today through this video let me know if you like it if it drives you crazy if the video process is too, so long so what I'm using what I do first like even though I washed my face this morning <coughs> excuse me even though I washed my face I don't know, I still like to use the makeup removers before I do my makeup, which I guess is retarded since I already washed my face, but I don't know, I just like it to, I feel like it gets stuff that maybe I may have missed or whatever, I don't know, or if there's like residue left from the cleanser, I like to get it off, especially today because I used, I used raw honey to wash my face, so I like to make sure I got all the honey off with the hot water, so I'm just going to get that off my face. And as far as like where I'm going today, I'm going to class. It's a very dreary day. You're going to notice like when I do this video, like I'm hardly going to put any makeup on because I'm going to class and I just don't feel the need to get glamorous. Like I put the, the least amount of makeup on on school days and a lot of times I sometimes don't even wear it. I'll just go. But some days I feel like I look tired and I want to like perfect my natural beauty. I do a little something something you know just to make myself look better so I guess you can kind of call this a no makeup makeup look because I try to make it look like I don't have on makeup but obviously I do I try to make it like I'm like extra beautiful so I like to put the Vaseline lip therapy on my lips especially the days that I have class because I don't really wear lipstick so I feel like it's the perfect day to like moisturize my lips. And I love this. I also like to put this on when I go to sleep because it's like amazing. And when I wake up, I feel like my lips are like new, like fresh. <laughs> so I like to moisturize my, my face. If you're going to hear noise throughout the video, that's because of the window open and it's windy and it's like, I don't make my doors move. It's creepy. Ooh. So what I've been using is like the Target brand. The, like the Target brand, which is kind of, uh, the Target brand, and it's like the one similar to the Oil of Olay one that I use, but this one was cheaper, so I've been trying it out. It's a sensitive skin facial moisturizer, broad spectrum, SPF 15, Lucian, and it was like $5, and the Olay one was like, I don't know, 10 11 I was being cheap that day, so that's what I bought. So I like to apply it now my face. Thank you. I went got my nails done the other day. And they look like this. Ah, I got lotion on. Okay. They look like that. I used to get them like the claw ones and I did nice stuff, let my nails breathe. And then I was trying to do the whole shellac thing, but because I felt like it's better for my nails but for me it's not only because I'm like I like love doing the not doing the I like peeling the shellac off probably more than I, I probably like peeling it better than I actually like how it looks so when you peel the shellac I don't know if you know this you're peeling a layer of your nails off because you're supposed to soak it off but of course me that's like the funnest part oh my gosh my eyebrows look purple today um, that's like the, <laughs> the most fun part is peeling the shellac, so that's what I was doing, and 
it was ripping up my nails they hurt really bad so then I got I just went ahead and got like the gel or whatever no I got acrylic this time but I actually miss the sharp nails I think they're awesome I I don't know I think they're like badass and I use that term for everything like I just like them because it's like more my personality the short nails of shellac that's like so not me but I tried it so even though I'm not really I'm not gonna put foundation on I'm gonna do like mainly powder and concealer I like to use the NYX pore filler because you can it's a, it even says it on here you can use it as a base wear it alone or over your makeup I wear it alone sometimes when I'm not wearing makeup just because it kind of minimizes my pores I don't know what's going on I guess this comes with getting older looks like that but I used to never like last year I swear you could not see pores in here but now for some reason they're like you can like see them and it drives me mad because I'm not used to it so I just pretty much just rub it Rub it in. On this side, I try to go like, you know, you smell. I try to put it right here because for some reason, this side is the only side with smile lines. And I, I think that's weird considering I smile a lot, so I feel like both sides should be. If I had smile lines, they should be on both sides. But for some reason, over on this side, I have smile lines, which I hate. I like to put a little under my eyes. I feel like it makes my concealer go on smoother. Now as far as concealer, I'm just going to use, I use just pretty much whatever I can grab. And today I'm going to use the MAC Select Cover Up in NC32. I'm going to put a little on my hands. Like that. Like that. And then I'm just going to put it under my eyes. Like that. I don't know, I have good days and bad days as far as under my eyes. Meaning like sometimes the concealer goes on great. And some days for some reason my under eyes are super dry, which drives me insane. And ooh, you see the difference? <laughs> you still see the puffiness, of course. But no, like some days, like my under eyes are like dry. When you put the concealer on, it makes it look like a million times drier, and it makes it look like I it looks makes it look like my eyes are like 80 years old. No lie, and I absolutely hate that. So, I hate it especially because like my under eyes are my most. Um, what do you call it? my biggest problem area like I don't mind not wearing foundation I don't mind you see my natural skin I hate my under eyes because ah there's something in my eye I hate my under eyes because they're so dark but I've always been had you no know, dark under eyes since I was little like if you see pictures of me when I was little they're under there Ooh, like that So lately I have been like addicted to Instagram. Like I love Instagram. If you guys like, you guys should like follow my Instagram. It's the same name as here, which is solely Ash87. And if you follow me, just like leave a comment on one of my pictures and be like, hey, I watch your YouTube videos. I don't know, I always wonder who's following me. Who follows me on Instagram that watches my videos? I know for a fact one person does. Crap, I can't remember her name. I'll probably try to put it out down below. I was gonna do a shout out, but I like totally forgot her name. But I only know because she comments a lot on my Instagram and my YouTube videos. So then she uses the same name. So yeah. But I always wonder. And if you guys follow me, just tell me like, hey, I'm following you. Like if you guys put I typically if somebody follows me, I click to see if I like their pictures. I like click on their name. Because I love not just posting pictures. I probably like, like looking at the pictures more than posting them. But I have been posting more. So this is old. Um, you can get your hands on this at Cherry Culture. 
cherryculture.com yeah it's the milani hg advanced concealer i love this only thing about it there i think it's a little bit more expensive because i bought like all of these when my cvs stopped selling them i'm kind of pissed because this is the last one that i have i bought three so i'm gonna have to order them off of there and i think they're like i don't know i'm gonna use this as a highlighter by the way they're um like seven dollars on there so i don't know it sucks because i only paid like um seven dollars for this one i want to try the mac little luminizer pen thingy i know i'm butchering the name i don't really know the name of it but there's a yellow one that everybody's been using on youtube and i just want to try it but i'll be like pissed if i buy it if it does the exact same thing this does because then i'd rather just pay the seven dollars on cherry culture so Okay. I just like to go through. I don't really care about like like normally I go through cuz I do have a few red spots and I like conceal them, but I'm not going to do that today because I'm going to school. So when it's uh, putting foundation, I'm going to use my Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. What I like about this is because it has like little shimmers in it and it's not a really heavy coverage, but it covers a little and it has a shimmer so it makes your face look kind of dewy, you know, it's not like, makes your face look dry. Like an actual powder on a day that you don't want to like wearing makeup, um, hello, you're going to see it more, so I like to use that. This one's like 20 something, I believe, and MAC. You could always, you could also try the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And the reason I say that, I know this says stay matte, but it has little shimmers in it, so you don't look like super dry. But you stay matte, I guess, and you don't get oily, but you don't look dry either, which I like. So I'm just going to swirl my brush in there, and then just... Like that. So I was contemplating, I was talking to one of my friends. Oh my gosh, I almost put this in bronzer and put it on my face. That would have been horrible. I was talking to one of my friends and she suggested that I do vlogs. Only thing with vlogs though, I feel like my life isn't that like exciting to do vlogs. The only way I would like, I guess, really do them if you guys gave me like topics you wanted me to, you wanted to hear about. You know. So if you're like interested, if you like vlogs, because this is the only thing when I started my channel, that's why I didn't call it like Ashley's, totally Ashley Beauty or put beauty or fashion behind it. Because when I first started this channel, I wanted it to be a broad spectrum of different things. I wanted to do vlogs and stuff. And then I just never did because I felt like it was like I'm boring, you know. I want to go and find a chocolate, so toothpaste, chocolate, so like matte bronzer. Um, but... I just feel like sometimes that I'm like super boring so why do it but if you guys are like interested in vlogs like I totally love to do them I don't keep saying totally many <laughs> I don't know but so if you guys like have different topics you want me to do then list them below like I don't know I would like to do them though I just don't know like really what to talk about and if you guys would actually watch it or whatever I know I have certain people like that watch it religiously like you know like they just watch it, my videos a lot because there's certain people well I know that they watch it because they comment like I understand like a lot of people don't comment because a lot of videos I watch that I like I don't know why I just don't comment like hey I'm here I'm watching your videos you're awesome oh my gosh I just got this in my mouth and it does taste like chocolate um so yeah I use this bronzer opposed to like my favorite favorite bronzer where is it which is the uh, the bomb Bahama Mama. It's not because of price, because they're pretty much similar in price. It's because like this one's is, this one's way darker. So your contour is going to be much more dramatic. 
Okay, this one's darker. You can't really tell, but it is way darker. It's gonna be more like dramatic. And I feel like for school, I just need like a slight contour, just so my face doesn't look like one solid color. That's why I do it. So I like to highlight. But yeah, I like I was saying, I would totally like to do vlogs or whatever. Just something I want to talk about, you know. I want to do more videos. And I also thought of doing using this by the way it's a color icon wet and wild it says bronzer this is in the color reserve your cabana it's not a bronzer it's totally a highlight because who I don't care how light you are you can't use it as a bronzer at all no way it's a really beautiful highlight um so I was thinking about doing this like maybe once a week because I have like a hectic schedule like with work and school and then my daughter like sometimes I don't have time for videos, but I get ready every day. So I was wondering like once a week I could do like a kind of sort of get ready. Well I'll do I'll do my makeup as I'm talking, but it can be like a vlog to like I can tell you how my week went and like different stuff that's going on in my life or whatever. And you know, stuff like that. But I was thinking of like a cool name maybe. Like it could be like a sort of every week thing. I can do it once a week. I can drink my coffee. It could be coffee time with Ashley87. Like, how do you guys want that? Because one of the girls I follow, what's her name? What's her name? Graveyard Girl. She does, like, tea time, like, tea party time, and she drinks her. She says tea time, and you expect her to pull out a, tea, a legit teacup and sip hot tea. No, it's iced tea that she gets from some, re <coughs> some restaurant, and she talks about different stuff while she's driving in her car. So I'm thinking about doing coffee time with Totally Ashley 87 because I drink coffee every day. I typically drink coffee when I'm getting ready. I already drank mine today because I took a while to get ready. But I, oh and by the way, I do not put on, I don't put on eyeshadow when I go to class. I do like to put a primer though just to kind of keep it from creasing because I'm going to put a little of my mineralized skin finish, my MSF on there, just to keep it from sort of creasing. But anyways, I drink coffee every day, typically when I'm getting ready. So I figured that that would be a cool concept to do coffee time with totally Ash 87. Like I can be sipping my coffee, be my closet, pick out an outfit or whatever like that, but I think it'll be fun. And it also gives you guys the opportunity to get more videos out of me because I try to film a video a week but I like to get more than just one video a week but at least that guarantees you at least one to do videos you know like more than one so I think about doing that sometimes I go in with my bronzer I know I said don't think wear eyeshadow but this is bronzer and it's just a little brown and I'll just put it in my crease just to make it ugh I keep getting eyelash in my eye and it's driving me insane but yeah I'll like put this in my crease like that. you can barely see it though but I know it's there I don't know what's in my eye but it's driving me mad okay And I'm not gonna do eyeliner because not black eyeliner anyways because it's like pointless because I'm gonna class and I don't care but I'm gonna use my little coal eyeliner by physicians formula it's bronze whatever so yeah tell me if you guys like the idea of doing coffee time with Tolly Ashley because I think it's awesome and I've like took 20 minutes of your time I just like to run this over quickly No wing. Sometimes I put a little under here. Hmm. Okay. So there we go. So please tell me below if you want me to do it. I probably still do it though. I think that's a great idea. You see? Talking to you guys and talk to videos. Oh my gosh. Just like give me great ideas. So tell me if you like this video today and oh my gosh the weather is so crummy 
I'm gonna shoot a haul video after this, so make sure if you watch this, if you want to see my haul, I'm gonna do like a spring haul video because I've been buying. Oh, I really I can't even talk and do this. This is why I need to hush when I do stuff. Now I've been buying like spring stuff. And if you want, and I need, I want to show you guys what I got. So I'm gonna do a video after this one. See me doing this video and talking through it with you. This is kind of like how the coffee thing would be. Like it gives you an extra video. Like I'm doing this one, but I was already planning on doing my haul. So you get to, you got some videos out of me this week. So. I like about this one is it doesn't require editing. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. And oh my goodness. Do you guys think my videos totally suck because my editing sucks? Because I, I see people all the time. They do videos. These girls and I just have such envy because they're videos are edited way better and they do all this stuff and it's like I don't I can't figure out how to do it I'm gonna figure it out though <laughs> okay as far as my lips I do three things three different things depending on how I feel when I go to school sometimes I just keep this on which is fine sometimes I want a little color I put one of the two lip colors this is pretty much all I use for school and the first one is a Revlon Just Been Kissable in the color Honey. It looks like that. It's such a beautiful, natural, pinky sort of color that I love this one. Then the other one is the Revlon Color Brush Lip Butter in Pink Truffle. This is my second one. I have bought one before. And I've already used a lot of this one. Which is just like a natural sort of color. Oh, they're both like natural colors. Like natural, na like, <laughs> like a natural sort of pinky color and this is like a pinky natural color with a little hint of brown in it but today I'm going to do this one because I'm feeling this one so just rub a little of that off and then I'm just gonna just gonna put that on ah I need to see it like that See? I love that color. It's so pretty. And that is all. So I'm pretty much done going to rookie plate up my hair because it's driving me mad. But I'm going to go shoot my, my, my outfit of the day because I'm pretty plain today. I'm going to go do my, my haul video. So I will see you guys very soon in a few minutes. So after you watch this video, you might as well click below if it's already posted. I'm gonna try to post both of this simultaneously. Is that how that work goes? Yeah. <laughs> like right after another, but I might do it a day. So this video, if you're watching this video the first day I put it out, then you won't see the next one until tomorrow. So see you guys then. Bye.